Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. I have come to a decision. I've been sitting here for a minute looking through our options, although I'll tell you what I haven't done. Look through the diplomacy, which is of course what we all came to see. We're actually very close to a non-aggression there. I've got a lot else going on though. 700. I mean, it's nah. We'll, we'll wait. Hopefully it'll come through on its own. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't feel good about this battle with us 20 against 34 beastmen, even though they're kind of terrible. We are on hard difficulty. I've been playing other campaigns on my own, and this seems like the kind of fight that could go horribly wrong. What I've decided to do is we're actually going to go into ambush to try and get them out, and we're going to go back here, even though it means we're going to take a bit of attrition. The only concern is whether Rosgore can see us. Uh, I suppose I can move a bit further back. That's only 45% chance, though. This is the only area with 70, isn't it? Well, let's try it. We're just going to give it a go. And yeah, it means we might take some attrition. But it's going to be worth it if we get him to move out of there. And we can always encamp and heal back up. It's just a, a bit of a slow process. And it's frustrating, but we don't want to throw the game. We'll see what happens with, with Mr. Spite Backbiter here. Maybe Orion is going to turn on them. Of course, we got him into the war. So let's actually just end the turn and let's stick around and just kind of see what they do here. I'm kind of hoping... Orion will just decide to attack and delete them from the universe. Worst comes to worst, they go for Morgulus, maybe. I mean, obviously, we can defend this now. And he is actually... He's attacking the garrison. Oh, no, sorry. Orion is attacking him, which is brilliant. And our garrison is reinforcements. Obviously, I'm just going to auto-resolve. <laughs> Thank you, Orion. I really appreciate that. Uh, we'll take a bit of money for it as well. What a stud. That's actually brilliant. I'm probably going to keep these troops with Alaric, but maybe move south. It would be really good if I could get Alaric over to the Beastmen. Ambush was foiled, so I assume he didn't move. He did not. He's just going to sit here. Well, now I feel like... Should we just take a turn to heal back up? And then... the Oh, we also got ward save for Alaric. And then the next... Oh, Grudge removed! Three battles against greenskins. Oh, that's that's something, isn't it? And we get control plus three all provinces, which is actually really big because we were losing one control here. Miracliano is actually finished. Okay, one thing at a time, Pango. One thing at a time. We'll get Root Marcher for you, Alaric, because I think you deserve it. And we're going to bring you down here. You're going to probably man this garrison for the time being. We have almost 7,000 to spend. And I think for now... We will spend that investing in Maragliano. I would like to get these upgraded for double the money. Actually, triple the money. And that means we can't upgrade. Oh, my God, that's expensive, isn't it? But I'd like to get a control building here. Let's get the refectory. And we'll uh, we'll start that off. Only a 1,000 left. And yeah, this is going to be a bit annoying. But I don't really see another great way around it. I'm hoping he just does something stupid. Excuse me? Oh, you're attacking... Oh! The Man Blight tribe is attacking Riff Raffer. Well, that's kind of annoying. Wow. Okay, fair enough. We actually did successfully do an ambush. It's two turns on from where we were, and I moved up here after replenishing a bit and laid another ambush, which is excellent. Well, it isn't, it isn't, because where the hell is his army... And this is actually 16. Oh, but it's not a siege, is it? I don't know where his army is. Okay, so we're going to... Right, we're going to fight that in a second. But I just want to get to grips with the rest of our turn before we do that. Um, so you've come in and done that. What the fuck are you guys doing? And then you've got a full stack. We have 16 there, so that's not a huge deal. What we don't really have... Is enough of a force to do a lot about it with you. Where's that come from? I don't know where he's got all those troops from. Wait, no, this isn't this isn't what I meant to do. Uh, let's have you guys out and just in um, in camp, uh, garrison you for a moment. What are we gonna do here? I don't really want to eat into our income, but we kind of have to, don't we? Oh, 
I assume we can hold this. Sartosa is miles off. Although growth is getting better as uh, control gets better. Because obviously low control gives you uh, a growth reduction. I think. Okay, I can't see it anywhere. Just kill me. Um, <laughs> shall we recruit some rangers? I'm very on the edge about it. If we upgraded, we could get Bugman's rangers. But we can't really afford that kind of thing anyway. Ugh, he's going to start sieging that. Okay, well, there's not really much I can do. I think I will grab three rangers in there. It's not really a lot else to do about it. And then we'll fight this. I don't know where that army went. They might just be here in a hidden encampment. But anyway. I mean, we could auto-resolve it. But I think we'll uh, I think we'll fight it. Oh. What? Oh, do they not have like a settlement? I guess not. Okay. What the fuck is this? <laughs> A very, uh, a very nasty beast path is what it is. I... So they don't have... Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. They don't have any defenses or anything. How would we like to set up? We're going to want to make the most of our grudge throwers, obviously. In traditional boring dwarf style. And we do have the giant slayers and the hammerers. Let me... Maybe... I'm going to move up into this gap. I think it will just be something like that. I'd like to do something useful with you chaps, though. Not sure yet. Tell you what, put two of you over there and put you with thunderers. Uh, and then I think we'll keep the, the slayers and the hammerers in reserve for whatever comes up. You can chill with them for now. Put a Fane on each side. Obviously, I'm going to reorganize in a sec anyway. And then I want the Grudge Throwers. Probably there, yeah. Um, I suppose... I suppose we could put one on each side. I'll put the Hammers and the Slayers in the middle for now. And let's do that. Okay, let's just shuffle forward a bit then. Into this point. Do you know maybe the maybe the Thunderers can fire over there? I'm gonna I'm gonna hope for the best and say yes. Put you guys there. Obviously Belagar can just hang out. Which thing have we got here? Alcan Half can just hang out. Uh they're not in range yet. We'll move up a bit. I mean I'm sure they're gonna Well actually they might not come and attack me. We'll see. They might. All right. Let's get you guys into a position there. You there. We'll give you the, uh, the smith as well. Now, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep these guys in the middle. We're obviously going to need to lo lose. We're going to need to use the giant slayers for their anti-large where possible. Are they coming? Yes, they are. In that case... Well, where have I moved? Yeah, don't don't go quite so far because they're going to be in range very quickly. I suppose that's not too far. We now have the Zufbar 42 pounders. Of course we do. Which is a kind of line effect. Oh, fuck. I forgot they had Manticore. We're going to need to target that. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Let's make sure we split these up as well in case the Manticore targets one or the other. And I think we'll keep the Slayers and the Hammerers near the artillery to deal with flying units for now. Okay, rocks are being chucked. Not very effectively, but that's fine. What do we got here? Centigors getting a bit, bit bolshy. Yeah, 
I don't really want to move you guys, but... Oh, we didn't use our... No? You should be able to see him now. There we go. What? What? <laughs> I didn't really want the grudge to fire at that thing, but there you go. Nice little bit of starting damage there. Okay, we're doing all right with that. Do I want the 42 pounders? Oh, hang up. Hey, up. Oh, hey, up. Oh, lads, get about to get them. Well, I think we will just put them here. Maybe the other side, actually. We don't really need it there, though, do we? Do we need it on the other side more? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. This is too delicious to... See how this turns out. Okay, it was far more underwhelming than I hoped. We didn't even need to get this thing involved, which is kind of funny. Let's move the, you know, quarrelers around. Let's flash bomb them as well, just to make sure there's no funny business. Generally, we're fine, though. We could flank with them. It's not really necessary. Just in case they come back, I'm going to move these Slayers over here. The Hammerers can actually just kind of hang out. We've basically won the battle. I mean, maybe we can move them over there. Yeah, this is a bit of a whitewash, really. There we go. Done already. Good stuff. I'd rather get it done quickly. This is not our main objective. Thunder is having a good time, though. Okay, fair chunk of experience. We did take a bit of damage overall, but of course we had taken a bit of attrition beforehand. Um, so I, I don't really want to occupy this. I could do, but then I kind of feel like I've got to occupy the whole area. I think I'm going to just burn it down. I know it'd be nice to get the money in the Oath Gold, but let's just burn it down. We actually get a Dragon Helm out of it. I don't know whether we have use for that. We cannot encamp, which is a bit annoying. What are we doing with you now, sir? It would be nice to come and get blessed by Grungni to upgrade our troops a bit more, but I think we'll just keep going with this for now. We'll get Woundmaker. You have the Old Guard's armor, which is not helpful against the Beastmen, but still pretty good. We actually have a Dragon Helm on Alaric already, which I was not aware of. What? Okay, so we've got this up for 42 pounders, which were quite underwhelming, but you never know. Maybe I didn't use them very well. We will hope for, for better stuff going forward. I think we... Do we come in and keep going this way? We've got triangulation. We, we were getting a little bit of sapper in there to get us along. I wouldn't mind having extra missile strength though. 20% would add up actually quite a bit, wouldn't it? Let's get hand loaded. Revenge King Lun, do you want this dragon helm, sir? Hard to hit, were we getting? Well, let's get hard to hit. I'm quite over. It doesn't really matter too much at this point. We've got Strike the Runes. We've got Rune Negation. We've got Ward Breaker. Now seems like a good time to come here and get one of these, whether we get sharpened weapons for damage or hardened armor for armor. Actually, I think we'll get sharpened weapons because I do want to get some more rangers, you know, in and around. And we'll get hard to hit with you as well because you're in the same kind of spot. Okay, we'll wait and see what they do next turn, wherever the army is. I'm sure they'll come out. Kind of wait and see what happens here as well. Oh, a random ogre army comes out and goes in on Lucini. Well, fair enough. I suppose I don't really care. Let's 
Together we are stronger. Let our clans be as one. Okay, brilliant. Zuthbar have not wanted anything to do with us for like the whole game, so I will happily take that. Yeah, we lost we lost both those helmets, which is kind of sad, but at least we have a decent garrison at this place. Uh, how are we doing down here, though? We only have 11 at Sartosa. I mean, if we have to lose it, we have to lose it. There's that bloody army. I think I do need to encamp as I work my way over there, though, which means it's going to take absolutely ages. Obviously, the underway would have been way better as well, but I need to uh, I need to replenish. He might even come and attack me. But I think we still win, even with all this damage taken. All right, is that kind of it then? Are we just stuck in this situation? I think we are. This army is now lurking there. Do I keep recruiting? Oh my god, Wurzag controls this. This is probably why the ogres have pushed this way. Because Wurzag's putting them under pressure. So I think we'll probably abandon this for the time being. It is time. I will get more rangers, I think. I mean, dwarf warriors would be good, but... We can always be swapping some units with the other army eventually. Upgrading the guard hall to um, upgrading to the guard hall at Karak Bufdar is probably a priority. What do we have? Twelve there, thirteen there. What does it just give you? But it gives you long beards. That's really it. It just gives you long beards. I mean, it does give you more defensive supplies as well, which I guess adds up. It's kind of a lot of money for not a huge amount back though, is it? But what else are we going to do at this point? I think we do just go ahead and do that. Make it as secure as we can. All right. I am Belagar, true king of the eight peaks. Do you know what? Now might be the time. Let's go into a military alliance. Hello there. Oh, you're attacking my garrison. And to be honest, I don't really have a ton of interest in... Are oh, you actually fighting uh, Gothrex? It's not even a garrison fight. But I think I'm honestly just going to auto-resolve this. I don't really have a lot of enthusiasm for that fight. We're obviously going to win. Get out of my sight. Crack on. That gets that army out of the way. I don't know whether it died or not. It looks like it did. Absolutely fine by me. We got to level 10 with Alaric, which is pretty good. I think we'll take Woundmaker. Two points of that. Everybody here is vibing. Gothrex vibing. Wurzag is not vibing. He is mad. He's still got his war. He's got Savage Orc Pig... Sorry. Savage Orc Boar Boy Biggins. Five... No, six of them. And God knows what else. As well as just normal Savage Orc... Um, Savage Orc Boar Boys. That's a mouthful. Anyway, Morga has taken Tabaro. It's somehow already got a garrison of 10 because fuck me in particular. Um, and I guess we're just going to have to rumble over there bit by bit, aren't we? We don't really have much of a choice here. We do have a skill point. I would love to go after eight peaks. I really would. That would be absolutely delicious, but you can't have it all, can you? I think we'll take Blade Shield, get a bit more melee defense there. I mean... Karak Tilos, Tilos, Tilos is looking rather vulnerable. But surely we can do some damage to Morgra if he chooses to take that and then we can swoop in. As long as we can get rid of the faction, that's something, isn't it? And then we just have all this shit to focus on. Oh, he is actually sieging that. I can't. What can I do? Probably just going to let that go, honestly. We don't really have have the resources or time to deal with it. The only problem is, is we're going to start running out of money. I can't really recruit any more units here. We're just going to have to deal with it. Let's not spend any more cash for that reason. I am revenge incarnate. Know this and wait. Uh, I don't really want to do that because you're at war with like Bretonians and stuff and everything gets a bit weird there. I feel a little bit safer with the Border Princes. And who knows, maybe we can give each other outposts and make something happen. We've not really done anything with that in this campaign so far. Armor plus five for Dwarf Shield units. It feels very weak at this point, but there you go. Um, yeah, in Warhammer 3, obviously, by being military allies and stuff, you can build outposts in each other's cities and also share, give well bolster their garrison, but also um, recruit each other's units to an extent as well. 
Let's get speed and melee defense for rangers, I suppose. None of these are feeling particularly good right now. But because I've been going back and forwards a lot, we've not really focused on making a particular area of our tree strong. Which is a wee bit painful. But, of course, a lot of the issue is that we've not really had the chance to upgrade our units to higher tiers. It looks like he's just going to sit there and make it impossible for me to go in and do anything. Which is kind of ass. I mean, I guess we're now fighting 30 instead of 34 or whatever it was. But, like, how have you got Gores and Vestigors in there? You've just settled there. There must be a mechanic I'm unaware of. But, you know, with all this... Chaos corruption. They they don't settle in there, but they've kind of corrupted it. Blah blah. Oh, this is good. Who are you at war with? Oh, you are at war with Scrag, but you're not at war with Wurzag. Well, Wurzag's now becoming the problem instead of Scrag. I mean, yeah, okay, they're gonna take this, but Wurzag's gonna end up in control of it. Wurzag's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, Akendorf's gone. Wait. Did the pro Did the Border Princes die while I wasn't looking? The Border Princes died while I wasn't looking. Well, isn't that absolutely just stunning? Just to confirm. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I just talked about outposts? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not happening, friends. Not happening at all. Fair enough. Okay. Let's just get on with it. We need to just go through a few turns, keep moving. Save up what money we can. We do have 300 Oath Gold now, but I don't think we have the trade goods to actually make anything good with the 300 cost items. Again, still haven't done the quests, um, quest items either, but <laughs> it's just a bit all over the place, isn't it? I haven't really had the chance. This is very good news. Let's get the uh, Thorgrim's faction on side. And maybe we can start to put something together. Maybe we can put the squeeze on Wurzag. I'd really like it if we could get the Fey Enchantress to come into this area down here. But she's not going to do it, is she? I don't know what she's doing. Ambush are discovered. Is that you? Yep. Like, what, what's cracking? What, who are you at war with? What brings you down from your mountain halls, dwarf? Why are you at war with Baston? Why are you like this? Like, what, what, what are you doing, Bretonia? You've got green skins in the middle of your middle of your region, and you're like infighting. Are you serious? Unless, like, are you a vassal of someone, Baston? I can't do diplomacy. I haven't met you. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. So, what do we do here? Because I don't think we can actually go straight in. That's now up to 12. Oh, this is painful, isn't it? Let's go in here and just replenish properly. You don't want to peace out, do you? No. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a problem for later if I don't deal with it, but Christ, what a mess. Uh, I could go after this army with Alaric, but then Wurzag might decide that it's time to come here straight away, so I don't feel very comfortable doing that. Upgrading to these doesn't do anything for me right now, does it? No, doesn't give me any benefit. I mean, we could get that, but it doesn't really help me. I assume growth. Actually, we're not there yet to level four, but it's going to be money that... Money is going to slow right down now. I don't think we can do a lot except hang out. Like I say, I'm going to probably let that go. Probably not going to fuss about it. All right, let's just go a few turns and see what happens. What brings you before the air of Lund? Oh. Well, yeah, I thought you'd be dead by now, but I'll tell you what, you're doing... You're having a bit of a resurgence, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Another grudge. Well, raid a region belonging to Greenskins. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> For the record, we have not even skipped one turn while this has been going on. Oh, he's got the war as well. Okay. Oh, God. It's all big and stuff. 
Oh my god, we're losing money. Oh, because we're being raided. Ouch. Ouch. Big ouch. What am I going to do, man? I think we have to go over there. I don't think we can deal with this. I mean, I could potentially... Yeah. Very well. I will do as you ask. Yeah, I don't think we can stay here. It means he's probably going to come and attack this. But it's either that or I kill him. But do I just need to take that fight? I think I just need to take that fight. I know. It says Pyrrhic victory. It's not going to be pretty. But honestly, I just need to get rid of his faction. Otherwise, we are in just too much trouble. It's going to be the same map, so we should just be able to do a whole ton of damage with the Grudge Drawers and hold the line. I know it's not thrilling, <laughs> but I think it's the play we need to make. If we can get rid of this faction and then just leave this left side, that would be really big. Let's do it. Okay. True king of please, I just want to put everyone down. <laughs> just please, come here. We're going to do basically the same again. I don't really think we need to change anything too much about what we did there. Dwarf warriors. Can't believe we've still got Dwarf Warriors. This is a... Uh, I really should have better units at this point, but never mind. We will put these in the same place. Uh, I don't know whether there was a Manticore to worry about. We'll consider that. You two can come here. We'll have... Uh, We're going to put these right at the front so we can get them moving into position straight away. Need to go a little bit further. Oh, bugger. Just so that we can try and get a decent angle with the... Uh, With the Thunderers, uh, do we have Manticores and stuff? We have Harpies. Not currently a Manticore, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he summons one, but okay. For the moment, for the moment, for the moment, let's leave the Engineer here. Let's have you there. We'll have you here just to deal with. And are we just leaving the Grudge Throwers where they are? Probably, actually. Yeah, probably. And then we'll just move forward out their way. You guys can come here. Here. Okay. Get moving, lads. Wait, don't they have... Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say, don't they have reinforcements? But I assume they're all in together. What are they doing? I mean, I guess I am attacking them, but I think they will come forward. There is a best to go herd. They are very, very bad boys. Gore herd, Centigors, obviously Morgra himself. We'll try and get a fireball off if we can. It looks like they're not coming. Which, I'm not really sure how I want to deal with that. I don't really want to go down there. What's the best option for me to try and pull for aggro? What is the range? What is the range on... Uh, I mean, to be fair, I can actually use the 42 pounders, and I might. They're probably going to dodge, though, aren't they? I don't think it will aggro them either. Let's see what the range... What's the range on that? Are you not going to move and do it? Or did I not click? Maybe I didn't click. You gotta go all the way up there. You wouldn't make it back in time. Alright, we'll see if we get lucky and this baits them in then. And I guess we'll do this. Good against the armor. Let's do it against the Bestigors. 
If they don't move. Looks like they're not going to move. Oh, it does, it does some damage, doesn't it? It's not bad. I'm actually content to do that twice, just in case it baits them in. We can wait a minute and a half. If not, I think we are going to have to move everyone forward because we can't really get anything else close enough. Unless I can move... I suppose this doesn't have to go too far forward. Then I can move it back. Then there'll be a long period where it's not firing because we have to run it backwards while they're moving towards me. Maybe I could move this whole side forward. Okay, right. Stop speeding along. Let's uh, let's do some more damage to those. Actually, it is, I've probably underrated that a bit. We're going to get them down to about half health, no? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not... Oh, has it baited them? Oh, he's baited them. Oh, beautiful. Actually amazing. We don't have to move. That's really, really good. All right, let's prepare ourselves for a nice little fireball when... Unless they're just reshuffling. Nope, they're resh... Nope, they are coming into range. Beautiful. You shall be the first to receive a nice big rock to the forehead. I imagine. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're going to dodge. Are they going to dodge? Not all of them. Not all of them. Okay, great stuff. What are these razor gores? No, they're centigores. Coming forward. They will be able to dodge the artillery pretty handily, I think. Uh, we get a few of them. They will be coming into range, though, very soon. You're in range of the engineer already. Are you going to come into range of the Thunderers? No. I was about to uh, do the ballistics calibration, but not so. Just get an idea on the range. Okay. <laughs> the gobbos. That's so good. The the goblobber. All right. Wait, they're not bringing everyone? That's so weird. I mean, I'm happy. I should have done a, a fireball on Morga, which I haven't done. Let's move you over here. What have we got here? Some ungore. Oh, to be fair, there will be some ungore herds slipping forwards, but there's definitely... I don't know why they've kept all them back. Oh, lovely bit of damage there. We're throwing in our, our satchels as well. Always a good time. Looks like Razor Gores have come forward. Let's get you guys in there. That's fine. What is this? We've got Chaos Spawn here. Let's get Belagar in on that. Is this the... No, these are just gore herds. Don't forget, these are not shielded, which isn't brilliant. Chaos Spawn are going to be a bit annoying, but I think we've basically dealt with them pretty well. Oh my god, you're getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> no, not unit detail. Although while we're paused, we'll take a moment. What's happening over here? Nothing. Looks like they're going to come round, but basically nothing. Getting quite tempted to move these over. Maybe I'll at least move the end. In what reality did I select that unit? <laughs> we'll move the engineer over. Okay, yeah. I mean, we are our, uh, our runesmith having a rough time with Morga there. I think Belagar should be able to sort him out there with the the aid of King Lun. Or Halkenhaf, whichever one it is. Oh, yeah. Getting absolutely wrecked. They are coming in for another charge. Harpies as well. He is routing. I don't think we ought to chase. Let's move back. We good here? Yeah, look at that. Thunderers have a nice little angle. Can fire over the top. Harpies coming in. Guess what? We've got friends for that. I 
they won't be there for long. All right, raise your herd. Got some ungols coming. We can send you in there. What has happened here, boys? We got charged, didn't we? But it looks like they're all running away. There is a best score herd there. So let's move Belagor back. Belagor. Belagor. I just want to call him Belagor. And I don't know why. All the time. Move you back over. We can also move the engineer back over now. As this side is becoming a bit of a focus. We can entrench you guys. Increase your damage. Does anybody need ammo? Not really. They are cut. To be fair, there's a few over here, but I'm content to leave that. We can open steel if we need. I think we'll just wait. We might even use Wrath and Ruin again. Nice that this edge is here because I think most of the stuff that routes just immediately goes off. Is that best to go? Are you really coming back this way? You're cheeky buggers, aren't you? Get into range with this oath stone. Oh, look at them. They're terrified. They're terrified of uh, King Lun, which is understandable. They're all just kind of lurking in the distance. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Forgot about you. And there's the victory. Wow. And this is a settlement. So they're all dead. They're all dead. Quick. Okay, we caught like three of them. I'll take it. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm glad, but that was a really pathetic attempt by them. They did a lot of damage over here to our Ekron miners. No thanks to that Chaos Spawn um, summoning that they did. Razor Charge came in a couple of times there as well. But generally, what a pathetic showing that was, eh? Look at that. They've not really... I mean, yeah, okay. They, they wailed on uh, our Runesmith a little bit, and they definitely wailed on the Ekron miners. But other than that... Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, that was. Ooh, it's a lot of experience, actually. And yeah, look at that. They're all dead. Well, I'm glad we chose to do that. That was a cakewalk in the end. We absolutely could have done that in the other, in the other place as well and had this done earlier. Lots of kills for our grudge throwers. Um, we're just going to raise it. I don't even want it. I mean, I know that means that other people might move in there later. I suppose we could rebuild it and get some money out of it. But maybe we'll do that with Alaric's army after we move him over here. Also, oh, Rangers with great weapons. Regiment of Renown. Hammerers as well. Action destroyed. Great. Um, we're going to take attrition this turn, which is kind of shit. We still can't get Deadly Onslaught. Yes, we can. Hand loaded. Yes. I think we were getting hard to hit with you. Grudge bearer. Ready. Okay. So yeah, we're going to take attrition this turn. Kind of crap, but we'll get back in there and then we'll start moving straight over. I assume Wurzag is going to attack us any moment. We're actually losing a fair chunk of money per turn. Just wondering if yes. we can... Ooh, we did meet Greybeard... Bre Greybeard? Greybeards, didn't we? Non-aggression. You didn't want a trade deal separately, did you? No. Non-aggression, but we'll we'll get a... Uh... Yeah, all right. Shut up. <laughs> we'll get an, a thousand payment out of it, which is really nice, just to tide us over for an extra turn. It is The Hunter... Why are you strength rank 104? Who's done you in? You're at war with Carrick Norn, which just makes it awkward for me to get to... to get a defensive alliance with you. I mean, I could. What do we... But we only have non-aggression pack with them. Thing is, if we get a defensive alliance, I can see us having to break another treaty, and I just really don't want to. To war! That's what worries me. What's our strength rank? 21. The more. Okay. Why are you why why am I down here? <laughs> well, I guess it's because of Greybeards. 
Okay, let's... Um, we're just going to leave that for now. I mean, I could get the Regiment of Renown in here if we think he's going to attack. But we do have 26 units. I mean, of course, if he attacks Gotrek, I can't... I might have to get Gotrek out of there because that's going to compromise my defenses, isn't it? Into the darkness. Am I right? I think I'm right. I think we better get you out of there. Because as much as I want you in the battle, because you're not in there, they can attack you and then bypass the settlement battle. And there's nothing I can do about it, because if you retreat, there's nowhere for you to go. And I mean, I could fight them in an open field, but I don't want to. They've got 40 units. Forget it. You are... Keep the money that we have. End turn. See what Wurzag does. I didn't click end turn. Brilliant. Brilliant. Hold on, Pango. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that could happen. Retreat. They actually managed to retreat and. I see. We are reinforcing with the garrison. This beast catchers army against the ogres. Is there any mileage in me fighting that? Maybe, but do I really care? It seems pretty confident we're just going to lose. I think I'd like to give that a go, you know. I think we might have to leave it here for today. And I think next episode we might have a go at that. I think the squigs just get absolutely murdered, don't they? Because they're all anti-infantry and not anti-large at all. And I assume we just lose, but... I'm really willing just to give it a go and see if we can actually do a bunch of damage to these ogres. We probably can't, but we're going to try it. So, for today, everybody, unexpectedly, that is all the time we have. So, thank you very much for joining me. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next episode where our struggles will continue. <laughs>